and welcome to Standard Knowledge, Episode 2. I am your host and moderator, Adam D. Gibbons of the Social Studies Department here at Riverside Brookfield High School. In a moment, the three contestants will introduce themselves. Today we have six categories of questions, ten questions per category, beginning with culture, followed by literature, science, mathematics, history, and finally, geography. We will then have a final question. The contestants are here and they will introduce themselves momentarily. I am Wendy D. Cassins of the English Department. Uh, David Almonte, Science Department. I'm Oscar, the IT intern ostrich. I'm Kristen East Matana, <laughs> Principal at Riverside Brookfield High School. Oh, God. And I will note that there are three actual contestants <laughs> plus the ostrich. Okay, so without further ado, you can interrupt the questions at any point if you know the answer. The first question today is this. David Lean directed what 1962 epic film with an all-star, all-male principal cast based on World War I events starring Peter O'Toole, uh, Dave? Bridge Over the River Kwai. Uh, that is not correct. And Alec Guinness, or Sir Alec Guinness. This uh, movie lasted three hours and 48 minutes. What? Otto, you got an idea? Can I buy it? Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> it is Lawrence of Arabia. That is correct. All right. And for 10 David points. David Lean. Uh, question two. The movie Rebel Without a Cause was released after its star died in a car. Uh, Dave. James Dean. That is correct. Question three in culture. Mick oh. Jones, Ian McDonald, Al Greenwood, and Lou Graham were all members of what 1970s Brit Dave. Luke. Foreigner. That's foreigner, oh, correct. Yeah, Hold good answer. Eyes. Although I'm against you. Question four. <laughs> what 1960s television series featured the shipwrecked Robinson family and Dr. Zachary Smith? Dave. Lost in Space. One of my favorite shows. Danger, danger. Will Robinson. Danger. <laughs> Uh, the next question. Questions coming. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, next question. What was the name of the fictional town drunk played by Hal Smith on of Mayberry on the Andy Griffith show? I know, I know. Otis. Uh, I'll take it, Otis Campbell. Sure. Wow. Right. Great job, Otis. Otis. Ostrich right. teamwork. More than me. I the buy. next question. The village people stated it was fun to stay at this place. What do the letters uh, Dave. Oh, what do the letters stand for? Uh, young man. <sighs> That's time. What do the letters <laughs> in YMCA stand for? Wendy. Young Men's Community Association? No. Dang. Good guess. Three out of four. Oh, I'm not losing my points. I know what it is. It's Metropolitan. No, you no? it's Young Men's Christian Association. Oh, cr YMCA. Religion. All right, next question. <laughs> what sculpture dating from circa 100 BC located in the Louvre features the armless torso of the Greek goddess Aphrodite? Crickets. <laughs> Famous sculpture, she has no arms. Oh. Yes. Venus de Milo? That's the Venus de Milo, right. What was the category again, Mr. Uh, this is, is culture. Culture. Like that Still my culture? grandmother knows. Mm -hmm. We're going to do 10, oh, ten. ten. questions. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Wow. Uh, name the actor who had roles in each of the following movies Giant, Rebel Without a Cause, Apocalypse Now, and Easy Rider. Dennis Hopper. That's Dennis Hopper, right. <laughs> Good job, Otto. <laughs> Next question. Name the film director whose works include Dr. Strangelove, 2001 A Space... Wendy. Stanley Kubrick. That's right. Stanley Kubrick. Next question. Who won the 1954 Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in The Country Girl? She'd married the Prince of Monaco. She, uh, Wendy. Grace Kelly. That's Grace Kelly. That's correct. Princess Grace. Indeed. All right, so that is the first oh my category. God, that was the easy category. No. Now we're going to go with literature, <laughs> oh, language, oh art. <laughs> In what 1948 Shirley Jackson short story is the winner of a game's prize at Wendy? The lottery. That's right. Next, in the O. Henry short story, The Gift of the Magi, what does the heroine sell in order to buy her love a watch fob? Wendy. Barrettes? No, but Hair it does. Clip? I can't take that answer. Oh, yes. Hair. 
Her hair, that's right. Oh, Very good. dang, because he buys her the hair clips. Yes. Three. In 1927, what poet of the hollow men, born in St. Louis, Missouri, became a British subject, Wendy? T.S. Eliot. Yes. He also wrote the love song of Jane Alfred Prufrock. Next question. In the 1816 Jane Austen novel, Emma, what is Emma's surname? No clue. <laughs> Think of a forest and a dwelling. What are you thinking, Otto? Forest and a dwelling. Yeah, forest and a dwelling. These are I don't know. <laughs> Sherwood. <laughs> Sherwood Forest. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Illiterate, yes. Uh, Woodhouse, Emma Woodhouse. Woodhouse. Oh. In the L. Frank Baum novel, The Wizard of Oz, Dorothy's dog Toto bites what bicycle riding biddy? <laughs> Bicycle what is her name? I can see her. I can see face. it, yes. I don't know her name. I'll take her first name or her Where's last Edmo name. Where's Edmo Krisky when you need him? Yes. Sick day. Sick day. No clue. No? Oh my God. Elmira Gulch. Elmira Gulch. Wow. Identify the 20th century author of the science fiction novel I, Robot. Dave. Asimov. Yeah. Next question. What figure of speech is represented by the following sentence? Her hair was like glistening gold. Wendy. Simile. Mm -hmm. Next. Name the author who created the fictional people and places of Lake Wobegon, Minnesota. He's also the host of uh, Wendy. Garrison Keillor. Garrison Keillor is right. Mm -hmm. Next Pro. question. In the Joel Chandler Harris Uncle Remus series, where does a sly Br'er Rabbit coerce Br'er Fox to throw him by means of reverse psychology? Please don't throw me in the... Wendy. The tar pit? I don't know. Not the tar pit. That is the... Uh, briar patch. The briar patch. Oh. Don't throw me in the briar patch. Yeah. You'd think Splash Mountain would have paid off. What? <laughs> John Doe's Passos trilogy includes the 42nd Parallel, 1919, and the Big Money. Dos Passos trilogy. What's the it's the name of the trilogy oh. that John Dos Passos <laughs> wrote. He just He's got a three letter title. We all live there. <laughs> USA? They, yeah, USA trilogy. <laughs> yes! Glad the hints are Take coming that Oscar. in here. Oh no. All right. Otto, whatever. Now we have science. Oh, yes. God. Oh boy. Here we yes. go. Anyone All right, Otto. Can, anyone Oscar, get these science Olivia. questions? Anyone get these science questions? This Danish physicist is responsible for the model of the atom which bears his name. Day. Bohr. Yeah, the Bohr. What common malleable post-transition metal has a melting point of 327.4 degrees Celsius and an atomic number of 82? If you ingest it, it can cause brain disorders. Wendy. Mercury. No. Dang. <laughs> Lead. You have to buzz in, ostrich. Yes. Lead. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Good job. If, Stinker. Speaking of mercury, if mercury is poured into a graduated Every cylinder, time. what shape is the resulting meniscus? Upside down. I can't take it. Uh, can, I, I'll prompt you. I'll prompt you. Upside down, it's all right. Well, instead of a U, it's an N. Uh, all right, it's oh. convex. Yeah, it, it's con. Yeah, water is concave and, and mercury. Is I object. He was wrong. Could this right. become like a wrestle off? What is the term for the stiffening of a dead body due to the coagulation of uh, Dave? Rigor mortis. Yes. What shape is the crystal arrangement of sodium chloride or table salt? Uh, NaCl. Is it uh, tetragonal, cubic, hexagonal, orthorhombic? What? God bless you. The shape of table salt. The crystal arrangement. You could take a guess. You, get it wrong. you lose ten points. You lose you points. Yes. Get it wrong. Yes. Oh, jeez! I gotta find out the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call time. It's cubic. Where's my tally? <laughs> They're keeping it They're somewhere. Oh, Half time. They'll tell us. Is an enantiomorph an emulsion, a diffusion, a mirror image, an insect, or a type of joint? An enantiomorph. Emulsion, diffusion, mirror image, insect, type of joint. Are we sure this is spell standard it? knowledge? E N A N T I O M O R P H. Sounds like an alien to me. <laughs> you can buzz in if guess. you like with that. No, they'll lose points. I'll call time. It's a mirror image. Rise oh syndrome is a disorder that attacks some children when they are given what common 
analgesic. It can cause a swelling in the liver, uh, Wendy. Aspirin? Yeah, aspirin. Mm -hmm. In the year 1800, mm. this Italian physicist, whose name was adopted to describe the unit for electric potential, announced his invention of the battery. He invented the first like chemical Big battery. Bang theory, like I just know this. There's a unit named for his surname. Electric potential. Oh, God, I know this. Measured in, his first name is Alessandro. Think of rewiring your house, you have to pay attention to the. Dave? Ohms? Ah, uh, not, that's resistance. Resistance. Yeah. Amp. Uh, no, amp here. It's, uh, you want to try? No, because I don't want to lose points. Volta or oh. the Volta. Uh, what type of coal contains a tar-like substance and is of poorer quality than anthracite coal? It's also, also called soft coal. Peat develops into lignite and then into this type of coal and then into anthracite coal. I need pub trivia. Santa <laughs> might leave it for you if you're bad. Yes, Dave. Uh, I, I, I blew it. It's don't got bitumen it. in it. It's okay. I think you're still winning. No, yeah, I, I think, I yeah. Think it's, uh, it's bituminous coal, bituminous coal. Bituminous coal. Uh, this is the name for the upper part of the respiratory passage of air-breathing vertebrates. It's bounded above by the glottis, and in most mammals it contains the vocal cords. It's also known as the voice box, but I need a uh, date. Larynx. The larynx, good. I was at a disadvantage on this one. <laughs> you have one, actually, or you couldn't be saying those words, so. Hmm. And that's three categories, so we are going to take a break and have a Sweet score check. Baby we'll race. be back momentarily with standard knowledge. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the second half of Standard Knowledge, brought to you by brought to you by Village Batch Organic Manaki Olive Oil. After the show, enjoy some olive oil and some bread. Very good. Okay, I'm going to put that in here. <laughs> All right, the scores stand at Wendy Cassens with 80, Dave Monte with 110, and Kristen Smetana with 40. And we're going to start what with Oscar? the mathematics. Oh, Oscar. Otto's on my team. Otto. Oscar. Right. Okay, Oscar or Otto. It's a team Otto. effort here. Yes. <laughs> All right. He talks to the pen in And well. we're going to do some mathematics toss ups. Oh. Some of these are computational, some are not. Here we go. What is the greatest common factor of the two integers 20 and 48? <laughs> Just 20 and 48, that's it. <laughs> Greatest common factor. <laughs> I'll pretend to Hint. work on it. Yes. Four? Four, good. And All it right, took you yes. that long to get the four? I didn't want if to make sure I was right. chicken <laughs> salad cost $2.75 a pound, how many pounds could you buy with $8.25? Dave. Three pounds. Three pounds. Solve the following simple algebraic equation for x. 3x minus 2 is 28. Kristen. 10. Yep. x equals 10. <laughs> what is the first derivative of 2x to the ninth <laughs> Are you power? really? <laughs> you, you multiply the <laughs> exponent with the coefficient and reduce the exponent by 1. I can spell derivative. <laughs> Kristen. 18x to the 8th. That's right. Goodness. What is okay, this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're talking now about Now you know how I feel when we, when we get to the science now. and English question. What is the slope of a line represented by the equation 7y plus 6x equals 3? This is why I hire people to build my deck. <laughs> Kristen. Negative 6 7. That's right. She's copying my answer. Oh. Y <laughs> equals mx plus b. All right, lines intersecting each other and forming right angles are known as what type, uh, Dave? No clue, I just wanted to be here. Anyway. Oh my God! <laughs> lines intersecting each other and forming right angles? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Ah, I knew that one. Two rays form an angle at what common end point? In literature, the word can also, uh, vertex? yeah. Vertex? A vertex, yeah. Next question, a line segment that has both of its end points on a circle is known as what? Dave? Diameter. No. Not necessarily. Yes. Segment? Uh, I can't take it. No clue. <laughs> a diameter would be a version right. of right. this, the longest version, a right. cord. A cord. All right, next question. How many inches are in 15 yards? 15 yards. If you can multiply, you can get this question right. 
Look at inches. How many feet are in a yard and how many inches in a foot? We know these two things. I'm too distracted by the ostrich over here. All right. He's so funny. Now you've thrown me off. Can you repeat that? 15 yards. How many inches in 15 yards? <laughs> Kristen. 540? You got it. Wow. 45 times 12. The camera club has a ratio of 5 to 2. That's boys to girls, 5 to 2. There are 8 girls in the club. How many boys are in the club? Ratio is five to two, that's boys to girls. Oh. There's eight girls in the club. Kristen? 20. 20, that's so right. right. She had it right, she said, hey, partial credit, she had it right, where's the camera? Keep she going, right keep going with the math question. You have to have confidence, buzzing. Hey, we're not great on right a curve here, okay? <laughs> credit, all partial. It's five points for that one. Nope. <laughs> The decision of the moderator is final. History oh, question. Wow. The rulers of this Middle Eastern done. country include Faisal the first, Amir Abdul Ilah Galani, Rashid Ali, Faisal the second, and Kareem Kasim. Uh, name the country. Tigris River flows through it. Dave. Mesopotamia. Uh, no such country anymore. It used to be oh, called Iraq. Mesopotamia. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, Iraq. That's fine. <laughs> what? I mean, you said ancient wow. history, so the country was Mesopotamia. Well, just history. Yeah. Today we have nine justices on the U.S. Supreme Court when George Washington was president. How many justices sat on our Supreme Court? Is that a trick question? No. Yeah, I was just about to say the same. <laughs> the ninth justice was added in the 1830s. As was the eighth. Dave. Oh! <laughs> oh! Seven? No. <laughs> yep. Five. No. I'm losing points. Really it's got to be an odd points. number. Do you want it? No. Six. Well, no wonder they had to add the seven. Uh, th yep. <laughs> well, yeah. And then the three two to more. three, then okay. The uh, <laughs> they accomplished a lot more, actually. The Spanish-American War began when the United States battleship was up, uh, was blew up, sorry, in Havana Harbor in January 1898. Name this historic American warship. Remember the blank to hell with Spain. Was it? Was it the love boat? Popular <laughs> phrase. I did no. not bring in. You ain't in on that one. Yeah. Remember the blank to hell with Spain? It rhymes with Spain. Wendy. Main? Yeah. The main. I can rhyme. As president of Yugoslavia <laughs> from 1953 to 1980, this popular statesman pursued a foreign policy of non alignment and was independent of the Soviet Union. Identify this communist marshal born in Croatia. Very popular with. Uh, Quite a few countries, actually. Communist leader Yugoslavia. Got the Soviets out during World War II. That's it. Tito. Tito. Oh, I'm glad I didn't guess. Wasn't he in the Jackson 5? He was. There was a very, Tito very in the good. Jackson <laughs> 5. That's right. All right. In India, it's called a purda, and in Persia, a zanana. Name this part of a traditional Muslim household reserved for female servants, wives, and concubines. In royal families, they were most often under the control of the sultan's mother. Five-letter word. Carnation? Women are in it. Yes. Harem. A harem. <laughs> nice job. This steamboat, the first one built in America to cross the Atlantic Ocean, was named for this major Georgia city. The oldest city in Georgia was founded in 1733. It was named for the city from which it sailed. What was the name of the steamboat? the city in Georgia, on the coast. Yes. Savannah? Savannah, mm -hmm. you got it. And uh, history, let's see. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution included in the original Bill of Rights protects against excessive bail or fines? <laughs> One in 10 chance. One in 10 chance. <laughs> also no good. cruel yeah. and unusual punishment. That is protected by the, I'll call time, that's the Eighth Amendment to the know, Constitution. I wouldn't have guessed eight. Me neither. All right. Uh, its chief ports include Marine City and es Escaraba. This state entered the Union in 1837. Tourist attractions include Hitsville, USA and the Henry Ford Museum. Name the state whose capital is Lansing. Michigan. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's Michigan. Good mm -hmm. 
Echevarra. She was the Prime Minister of Israel from 1969 until 1974. Prior to that, she was an Israeli teacher. Name this female world leader. Gold in my ear! Uh, that was not your buzz. Thanks. <laughs> Dave, gold of my gold ear. of my ear is right. That's <laughs> Sorry, Adam. I you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was too slow. The buzzer. <laughs> During the Vietnam War, this statesman made a serious effort to negotiate with North and South Vietnam in great secrecy. The talks were carried out in France. What future Secretary of State made over ten trips to France? Uh, Dave Kissinger. That's right. Henry Kissinger, still alive. Uh, he's like 90, 92 or so. All right, I think we're going to finish up with geography and then final jeopardy after that, or final standard knowledge, rather, after that. The highest waterfall in the world, Angel Falls, is found in what South America? Uh, oh. Wendy? <laughs> uh, Chile. It's not in Chile. It's found in what South American country? It's got a height of over 3,000 feet. Dave. Rio de Janeiro, so it's our Brazil. It's not in Brazil. It's uh, northwest of Brazil. You want it? No, I'm holding on to my Venezuela. Uh, speaking of Rio, Rio de Janeiro has a striking landmark. It is a huge concrete statue of Christ the Redeemer. It stands atop a mountain. Name the mountain. Or you can think uh, Victor Hugo if you uh, need a hint. Victor Hugo. Machu Picchu? No, that's the other thing. Nope. <laughs> Victor Hugo wrote, and the, that'll give you your answer if you buzz in with it, but cut off the second, it's just called Hunchback Mountain, uh, Hunchback Mountain, okay, next, geography, this California city was founded in 1870, it lies on the southern part, in the southern part of the state, name the city which is almost adjacent to San Bernardino with a namesake in Illinois, the Illinois namesake was Planned in 1869. <laughs> and you're standing in it right now. And our school is named for it. <laughs> Wendy. No, it's not. Riverside. Yes, Riverside. Oh, <laughs> Riverside, Thank California. Thank you, Mr. Gibbons. Mm. Buzzed in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This country is bordered by Iran, Afghanistan, and India. Its coastline is on the Arabian Sea, named this Islamic Republic, through which the Indus River flows. It's created in the 1940s, former British possession. It touches India, India's Toots. And I'll call time, it's Pakistan, Pakistan. All right, how about this? In 1951, a national park was created to protect the animals roaming this vast plain west of the Great Rift Valley in Tanzania and southwestern Kenya. Identify the large African plain. Dave. Serengeti. The Serengeti, right. And just a couple more, and then final <laughs> standard knowledge. The Verrazano Narrows Bridge was completed in 1937. It's the largest suspension bridge in this North American mid-Atlantic States, name the state where the Verrazano Narrows Bridge is located. I was born in this state. You sure that's common knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> Fairly common. Verrazano Narrows Bridge, you might even been on it. Well, not, not an ostrich, probably. It's uh, founded by the Dutch in the 1620s. Second largest city I was just speaking of this morning before the show. I was the uh, Ohio. Nope. No. New York. New York. Yes, <laughs> that was the other city we were talking about. Yes, Cincinnati yeah. and that's Buffalo. Right. All right. <gasps> uh, this New England state is the most southern of all New England states. In size, it is 48th largest. Name the state with cities included Danbury, including Danbury and Bridgeport, Wendy. Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, what small country of Southeast Asia gained its independence from France in 1949? Its capital is Vientiane. It's formerly part of uh, Indochina. We had this one I got last time. We had a similar one. It, <laughs> it touches. Well, they didn't get it right last it touches, yeah, I remember. it touches Vietnam and Cambodia, I think. 
uh, Laos. I knew Laos. it was Laos. I, I did not know it was Laos. All right, Laos. Uh, two did. more. No, I <laughs> did. That was going to be my guess. That uh, was going to be my guess, but I didn't want to lose 10 more points. In what port city in which the IRMS Titanic was built does the Parliament meet in Northern Ireland? City. Do I have a lifeline? I can contact oh, Mr. O'Rourke. Exactly. Uh, Northern Ireland, what else can we say about it? Um, uprising there in the 1910s. Think of something that rings, I suppose, and something that's quick. Yep. Belfast. Belfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the last question, and then we'll have final standard knowledge. Something that's and is quick. <laughs> Belfast. These are hints. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With a population enough, of 1.65 million, this Canadian city is situated on the St. Lawrence River in Quebec. Name the largest city in Canada. Dave. Montreal. Yes, Montreal. And then we'll get a score check, and then oh, we'll do final sweet. standard knowledge <laughs> after race. this break. Sweet. Welcome back to Standard Knowledge, and here we have the final question I'm about to read. Just to give a score update, Wendy Cassins with 150, Dave Monti with 170, Kristen Smetana with 130, Yay. and the category an is an, an, Oscar. an Oscar as well, with some points. <laughs> well, he's got 130. Got 130. 130. I together. made contributions. Yes, you did. The category is math-ish, and here oh. is the question. Math light. Give the sum of the following two Roman numerals, oh. but give the answer in Arabic numbers, regular oh. numbers. It is regular, Arabic is regular right? Yeah. M, C, D, X, C, V is the first number. <laughs> The second. Are you, I think that's what I order at McDonald's from the value meal. C, 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 L, X, X, I, I, I. Are you kidding? Add those two numbers together. <laughs> we have a minute and a half. Really? Oh, thank a you. minute and a half. You're not cheating. Wait, can, you, can you say the first one again? Yes. M-C-D-X-C-V. There's my timer. I can almost read from this distance. Don't worry. I, I, will, I will not be. Um, I'm going to put something cheeky. <laughs> the weight, the weight on my driver's license. The year right now is MMXV. Yeah, okay, we know that. We do? Do we? I do. We do not. I think that's time, I'm I assuming. I think that's time. Wow. Okay, so we'll go with Kristen first, and her response oh. is? I don't know it. Oh. I don't know it. And that is incorrect. And what was your wager? 129. Wow, one point. So one it was point. down to one point. Oh. And then second, Wendy, what have you come up I with? I put 1962. Actually, not too far off, and but I not And I put 20. Correct. 20 is your wager, so you're... <laughs> Going to finish at 1:30. Let's see if Dave has. I had the correct 1868. Correct, 1868. <gasps> nice. Very good. good. And your wager, what uh, was it? 80. 80. So you were at 250, and are again the. Otto. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Otto has an answer oh, as well. Otto does as well. What have you put, Otto? Cheese sandwich. Oh, Very good. Nice. A good try. Maybe you can have one after the show. All right. Well, thank you for joining us here on Standard Knowledge. We'll see you again next time. Wow. Good bye bye. For you.